Hi folks, this is a real short video, real quick. The idea is how to keep a quiet hand. I've read that term many times in etude books, read it today, and it was in Shradiak. This is book one, can you read that? That's available actually, it's public domain and it's on imslp.org, you can pull that out. And in it, it says, all the exercises are to be practiced with quiet hand position and with firm energetic setting and elastic rising of the fingers. Obviously it's a translation from the original in the English. It sounds a little funny, but when we say a quiet hand, I think simply he's saying, I don't want a lot of motion here. Don't want your fingers flying up in the air. We want to keep it close to the string. And you want to have energy in the fingers. I want to make sure that my students lift with energy as much as apply with energy. You come down to make a good articulation, but you lift with energy so you don't squeeze the neck. Now, the first exercise there in book one of Shradiak is really simple. It's just open A through fourth finger. So what you want to do is put your four down first in a manner where I can play four on the A string, which is an E, but I can also play open E, so I'm not laying across it. This knuckle's slightly higher than the edge of the fingerboard, and I put my four down first, then I add my three, my C sharp, or my two, and my one. So all my fingers are over the note, ready to go. Now lift them comfortably over the string, but not up here. You're ready to go. And we're going to then apply the fingers, the motion will all be from the bass knuckle, and we'll try and keep the curvature the same throughout. So you don't have to move very far. You lift with energy and you apply with energy. Then I want you to use a metronome if you're using the Shradiak exercise. Set it at a speed that's comfortable for you and practice and watch your fingers. Do they fly up in the air or can you keep them reasonably close? So it's not about speed yet. It's about being accurate, steady, and relaxed. If you look at this, I'm going to play it really fast here. Remember, this is just the first one in the exercise. Here's as fast as I can probably do it. And the idea is that you see my four, it moves a little farther, but three is less, two is closer, one is really close the whole time. And they don't ever open up like this. I keep the curve the same and it follows a pathway back to the string each time so that I can be very accurate, good intonation. Okay? So that's how you keep your fingers quiet.